What happens if an astronaut dies while on board of a space station? What about those articles that said I can send my remains to space for a hefty fee? While it is a romantic idea for your remains to forever soar through the cosmos, just what exactly happens when you choose this option? This concept is known as a space burial, where missions go into orbit around the Earth, Moon or maybe even further. This is not a completely separate business model offered by some high-tech crematorium. NASA rockets are known to be carrying small amounts of ashes during its missions. Ashes, as opposed to actual bodies as it significantly reduces the weight. The very first space burial was during the Columbia mission, a mission that ended in disaster as outlined in a previous video. However, in 1997 the first private space burial took place on Spain's Canary Islands, containing the remains of 24 people, amongst which Timothy Leary and Gene Roddenberry. These remains are brought into the Earth's orbit and will continue to do so for about 5 years, until they re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. In 2018, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket also experimented with space burials, but that is the last we've heard from them on the topic. The ashes that are launched in the Earth's orbit will slowly fall back to us over a lifespan of a few years. However, the ashes of Gene Shoemaker has landed, well, crashed on the moon's surface along with the lunar prospector and will find its final resting place there. Meanwhile, the ashes of Clyde Tombo are well on their way into interstellar space, aboard the New Horizons space probe, well beyond our not-so-planetary friend Pluto. Who knows where his final resting place may be, if anywhere. Over the coming millions of years of interacting with interstellar gas and dust, his ashes may very well just erode away. But this could be long enough to outlive humanity. As far as actual bodies go, instead of ashes, there is no data out there that suggests this, despite some Soviet myths that say that some astronauts may in fact be floating around out there. If a body was to float around, once it gets captured by gravity, it will likely incinerate in the atmosphere of that planet. However, there is just the smallest of chances that the floating body finds its way to a new planet, surviving the descent through the atmosphere and crashing down on a new planet where it then releases the microbes that reside within the body to start life on that planet. Now wouldn't that be one amazing legacy?